Hello guys, welcome to Vectrix Home. Today we'll be learning how to create a menu and style a menu in custom, custom CSS. So you can see here I've already got the SM structure and the style tags. So let's start with the UL menus, add some titles there. Right, you can see it like this. Then add the basic properties and the first one will be okay, let's style type none. So it will remove all the bullets from there. Then we'll style the anchor tags there. So what I'm gonna do here is add a text inversion none first that will remove the underlines there. You can see it right. Then I'll use the text transform that'll make all the text capitalized. Right. Then we're gonna add a few more. Then I'm adding float lift that makes the menu float lift. Then add some margin on the right side. Right, that'll create space between those titles. Right, so what we can do here is add a background to the UL. Right, let's add some blues, we'll give some height too. Okay, that's great. Then, what we need to do here is add some paddings so you can see the spacing on the top and bottom. Okay, looks quite good. A bit more. Okay, that's done. So let's add, change the font color for that, those anchor tags, right? So that it can be clearly visible. Okay, that's good. So it's almost done. So we can add some styles and hover, right? So when you hover the mouse, let's change the color first. Yep, you can see it. The color is changing when the mouse is over to the title. Then let's add some background here as well. Yep. So let's add some padding spacing between the text and the background here. I'll add 10 on the top and bottom and 15 on the left and right. Now you can see we need to use the padding actually an anchor tag, right? So that it doesn't affect the display when you hover over there. So you can see it now, right? And remove the padding from the top. Okay, that looks good. So what we'll do here is add the same style to one of the menu and we'll name it active. So, writing, copying the same property here. So you can see, one is already active over there. All right. So we can add the paddings if we want to make it look better. So let's add a little more at the bottom, like this. The third one with the bottom padding. Yep, that looks good. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.